This is the question from grade 2021, Mechanical Engineering Set 2. Consider the following sentences. Sentence 1. The number of candidates who appear for the gate examination is staggering. Sentence 2. A number of candidates from my class are appearing for the gate examination. Sentence 3. The number of candidates who appear for the gate examination are staggering. Sentence 4. A number of candidates from my class is appearing for the gate examination. The question is, which of the above sentences are grammatically correct? Option A, 1 and 2. Option B, 1 and 3. Option C, 2 and 3. Option D, 2 and 4. So, all the options are in pair. That means, two sentences from these four sentences are grammatically correct. If we read the sentences, then we can see, then sentence 1 and sentence 3 are similar. The only difference is use of the verb is and are. Sentence 2 and sentence 4 are also similar. Only difference between them is also use of is and are. So, use of the verb is and are depends on the subject of the sentence. If the subject is plural, then we have to use are. And if the subject is singular, then we use is. So, in the first and third sentence, the subject of the sentence is the number, which is singular subject. It says the number of candidates who appear for the gate examination is staggering. The number of candidates can be 5,000, 3,000, 6,000. But the number as a subject will be singular. Because subject of this sentence is the number, not the candidates. That's why we have to use is with singular subject. So the Sentence 1 is correct sentence and sentence 3 is wrong sentence. Now for sentence 2 and 4, subject of this sentence is candidates. Because the sentence is a number of candidates from my class are appearing for the gate examination. So this sentence is talking about candidate while in sentence 1 and 3 those sentences by talking about the number, how staggering the number was. While in sentence 2 and 4, the sentences are talking about candidates. How many candidates are appearing for the examination? That's why the subject of sentences 2 and 4 is candidates, which is plural. So, using R is grammatically correct. That's why sentence 2 is correct. And sentence 4 is incorrect because sentence 4 is using verb is for the subject candidates which is plural. So, our correct answer is sentence 1 and 2 are correct. Okay.